Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how you'd be able to set your own custom notification sounds on the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. And just so you guys know too, this will also work with any other Samsung phone out there. So let's first actually look at the notification sounds that it has. So you go underneath these settings and underneath these sounds and vibration, you'll head down to where it says notification sounds. Inside of notification sounds, you have the normal default notification sound, and you also have the one that's for your messages. So let's go inside of messages and let's actually play the one that it is there for default. Now you also have, you know, the beep once, the buzz, the charm. You have all of these different ones, but maybe this is not, you know, your personality. This isn't really exactly what you would like as your notification sound coming, you know, from either a particular person or also just in general, the notification sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add in a couple different ones. So up here, I'm going to actually add in one that's referred to as Puppy Monkey Baby, if you guys remember that commercial back in the day. So right in here, you're going to notice it'll be added. Also on the very bottom, I'm going to add in a song. So you're going to actually notice down here, it'll say Talky Beat, just for fun. So here are the steps to add and create your own custom notification sounds. You'll actually head over into your Samsung folder where it says My Files. Inside of my files, you go to your internal storage and down here, it's supposed to actually say media. Now some phones have it and some phones don't. For some reason, my Galaxy S8 Plus did not have the media folder. So I'm actually just going to create one. If your phone actually has media, then you can actually skip this small little step. So right here, I'm going to create folder and I'm going to call it media. And then inside of media, once you've created it, you open it on up. Then you actually make one inside of here that is referred to as notification sounds. Or actually just notifications. So once you have created that, any of your little notification sounds or music or pretty much anything that you add in inside of this folder will now actually show up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on back and I'll actually go into my internal storage. And inside of here is my download. And here is Puppy Monkey Baby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one. I'll actually click on Move because I don't really need it in that one. I'm just going to move it to my internal storage. Go right on down to the little folders that you guys created. So Media, Notifications, Done. Now that you've added that in there, I'm also going to add one more as well. So I'm going to go into Music. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to where it says Talky Beat. And once you go inside of here, this one I'm going to do Copy. I'm going to go to internal storage. Again, you'll head down over into media, notifications, done. So now that those are done and complete, you'll now be able to go into your settings on the very top right hand side, click on sounds and vibration, notification sounds. This is the one for messages. And again, you just click there one more time. And as you scroll down, you can see puppy monkey baby. And I also have talky beat. <laughs> and there we go. That is how you'd be able to set your custom notification sound. And just so you guys know, there is a, another way you would also be able to do that. So let's say that you want to have one that is set up for a particular person. So here's a random number that I have. What you're going to do for your person that you have already selected and saved in your phone, just go to edit. On the very bottom right here, you just go to view more. And down here is where you can change their ringtone which actually the ringtone is extremely easy um, because you'd also be able to add from your phone. So any of the music that you have already added into your device will actually already be there. It just happened to be that this uh, notification sounds was actually the hard one. So here's notification sound, and this is where I'll actually head on down. And probably for this person, I want to have the talky beat go through as they are to send me a text message and then you hit on save. So that is how you'd be able to set up your normal custom uh, notification sound, as well as set one for a particular person. Hope you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, if you guys found this video to be helpful, make sure you guys do a good turn daily and pay it forward, and also hit on the subscribe button on the very bottom left-hand side. And then on the very bottom right-hand side, you guys will be able to check out the very next video, and right above that is the playlist for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. See you guys later.